and welcome back. I have started on Instagram to do something on IGTV, which is their little sort of pop-up video, um, called Come Beauty Shopping With Me, in which I basically film with somebody who's holding a camera and I take you around all the high street stores. And it's something that fashion people have been doing for ages, but nobody really does for beauty, and it's becoming really, really popular. And so I take you around all the high street stores. I've taken you around Primark and Boots, and next week I've got John Lewis and Marks and Spencers and Selfridges coming, anyway. I was walking around Boots um, and I made some very disparaging comments about what was aimed at teenage skin, what was aimed at breakout skin. And so many of you then slid into my DMs and said, help, I've got a breakout. Why shouldn't I be using charcoal, harsh scrubs, clay masks, everything that strips my skin? Or more importantly, you're coming into my DMs and you're saying, help my teenager, my 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 year old son at university, daughter at university, has got terrible breakouts and they're falling for all the marketing hype and they don't know what to use. So my argument always is skin care should not be age related. It should be skin type and skin problem related. So actually this video applies to anybody that has the occasional breakout, which we all do, hormonal breakouts, really bad skin, regular breakouts, everything up to the point at which you're going to go to your doctor. But before you do go to your doctor, this is how you tackle breakouts and spots. And every single product on this table can be used for your children right the way through to <laughs> a postmenopausal breakouts, which you might get at my age. So this isn't about age, this is about solving your skin dilemmas and your skin dilemmas are breakouts. And I'm going to go through a simple three-step routine, okay? The first thing you need to do is you need to get, and I'm going to aim this at the mums speaking to their children, you need to get your children to start cleansing their face. We've all done it. You go to bed, show your face, just like your teeth. You show your face a dab of water, do this with your toothbrush, stick it on the side, run upstairs, open a book, or nowadays, open your phone. You need to get your children cleansing your skin properly. And it's a really simple thing to do. You don't need harsh scrubs, you don't need clearasol, you don't need blackhead strips, you don't need anything with alcohol in. What you need is a hydrating gel cleanser. This is CeraVe hydrating cleanser. It's a gel, it's a non-foaming gel, it's in a pump. It's men, women, children, boys, girls can use it. It's deliberately gender neutral formulated by dermatologists in America, a hugely successful range in America. We need more of it here. That's the two sizes it comes in. I suggest you just stick that on the side. And I suggest also women everywhere of the world, men everywhere of the world, first thing in the morning, that should be your cleanser anyway. It's not like you're removing makeup. I mean, it will remove makeup, but it's a beautiful cleansing, hydrating gel cleanser. And you team it with a microfiber cloth. This is my one from Primark. As you can see, I used it this morning, last night. Um, honestly, hand on heart, Primark, I think, are discontinuing these. However, go onto Amazon, Google microfiber face cleansing cloth, and this will come up in a five pack for £12. There are other things on the market. One of the other things I was disparaging about is Face Halo. Face Halo is a two-sided microfiber pad. I've got nothing against Face Halo. It's beautifully designed, really beautifully packaged. However, what are you taking off with that if it costs five times more than that? Because you need that, right? You can use flannels. I haven't got a thing, anything wrong with flannels at all. I think microfiber cloths are just more effective and you can stick them in the washing machine. However, if you prefer a flannel, I totally get it. If also you don't like microfiber cloths because they're made of plastic, and so eventually they do break down into micro bits every time you wash them. Get yourself or get your teenager, and these are much harder to use because they're small, a Konjac sponge. Konjac sponge is eco-friendly. I'm gonna open this up and show you. This is the new Garnier um, polishing Konjac uh, grown in the Asian Highlands. It's a natural plant. Um, there are lots of different Konjac sponges on the market. There you go. They start hard, but they go soft in water. So they're basically just a natural sponge. I mean, technically all sponges from nature are natural, but uh, that's the new eco for anyone. And that eventually could just, once it's sort of 
had its last legs it can be stuck in your um recycling it can be stuck in your compost heap uh, joe jones talks about them a lot lots of different people make conjac sponges don't fall for designer labels just google cheapest conjac sponge however i'm kind of thinking a girl is going to find that more fun to use these come in every other color on amazon including black and gray and everything I, i'm sorry i don't mean to be gender specific here but a typical teenage boy is not going to use a pink cloth um a lad let's say um the important thing is you get them to use something that physically exfoliates their skin while they're cleansing and it shouldn't be a harsh scrub it shouldn't be anything that strips or scrubs the skin none of those blackhead pores that pull off strips masks anything that is basically stripping your skin of the sebum because you're producing too much sebum will encourage your skin to produce more sebum so you need a gentle rinse off cleanser that's the high street equivalent dr sam bunting has a really lovely one um which is relatively reasonably priced and quite chic if you've got the budget soy face cleanser that's the gel soy cleanser i really love if you're going super and design a high end similar thing non-foaming gel cleanser everybody should use be using one every morning anyway team it with a cloth and they will also take off makeup at night okay um, however you could use a cream cleanser, off, cleanser at night that's your first step you're cleansing your skin gently you're exfoliating your skin by using a cloth every single day um, it could be a flannel I've really got nothing against flannels at all then what do you do to tackle the actual breakouts there is one acid for you and that is salicylic and I've spoken about this before salicylic acid is a BHA it's a beta hydroxy acid it's a larger molecule however it's lipophilic it's attracted to oil most of them are attracted to water which means they sit on the surface of the skin and penetrate that way this is attracted to oil which means it sits on the surface of the skin and then dives into every single pore and it's the pore that is the basis of the spot it's the pore that's blocked it's the pore that's producing too much sebaceous um, secretions it's this is where you need your acid to sit now paula's choice does without a doubt the best bhas on the market comes in three formulas a liquid which is based uh, which is actually slightly oily it's based in almost like a solvent a little bit like it feels a little bit like um ce ferulic you'll know that feeling if you're a bit of a skincare aficionado i personally don't like the feeling i prefer the lotion which is more like a liquid light lotion and is lightly hydrating however that's perfect for all over your skin if however you've just got blackheads here a spot here a spot here the gel is perfect the gel they all have two percent salicylic acid in them which is the key measurement of the active ingredient you want the gel just doesn't move so when you put it on whatever you put it on and i'm just going to exfoliate my elbows while i'm here i could actually put it on my nose and put it on my blackheads but look at this my cat scratched me today didn't mean to i was ignoring him at my desk and he was pouring me for love um so i'm going to stick that on my elbows because obviously all acids actually do soften and exfoliate dry skin as well that i said i was on twitter the other day somebody said to me daniel sandler said to me in fact he's put a call out on twitter what can i put on a stubborn spot and loads of people were like toothpaste and clay masks and everything that strips your skin and is irritating to your skin and i just said you put that uh, on at night and then on top of it once it's dried and gone on your skin you put a little bit of hydrocortisone cream it's the magic it's the magic combination for one of those really annoying spots that doesn't go however if you're suffering from regular breakouts that is the key now when i did um an interview with pam marshall um of mortar and milk um a facialist who specializes in tackling stubborn often cystic acne she recommended this this is clinicept you have to get it online it's uh, it's a topical antiseptic spray but it can be used on your skin and i use this on my cold sores if i ever get them let me show you what it's like there you go it's like water has absolutely no smell at all it was developed um, as an extension of something that was used in hospitals to make wounds clean and you can absolutely spray this directly on stubborn spots or on spots at night it's um, completely man-made feels like water has in fact you know what it's really good for do you ever like me get um slightly clogged up and sore earrings if you never take your earrings out which i don't 
um, because basically they're just they sit there forever and you every so often you think oh that that ear's a little bit sore they're brilliant for that they're brilliant for cuts grazes if your child fell over and scraped its knee you could spray that on there catch scratches I put it on my nose this morning but also spots it just is amazing it's something that beauty therapists use a lot to clean down faces and hands and stuff like that but you can without a doubt it's not dangerous at all use it directly on your skin that's amazing and finally if the next question I get is what no moisturizer on like a 10 or 13 year old no the whole point is that you want to introduce gentle things and really who is moisturizing their face at 10 or 11 or 12 or 13 however if after a while you find the skin slides become slightly dry and starts to peel because an acid will make your skin peel let's be honest here what you need is you need hyaluronic acid and hyaluronic acid is a natural moisturizing factor found in the skin you know what it is it's a really really light liquid this is coming to Amazon May 1st. This is Haddo Labo's Lotion Number One Super Hydrator. There's a blue range as well, but this is the most basic hyaluronic acid. It's a multi-molecular hyaluronic acid, but it is a super light gel. It will hydrate your skin. It will stick back any dry or peeling pieces if you're conscious and your children are going to school or if you're conscious and you're grown up and you've got a spot. And then just as you're two or three days in, it's starting to peel around the edges, which often happens. That will go in beautifully. Everything here, probably with the exception of that, is unscented, super lightweight, gives just the right amount of hydration, no stickiness. You can put moisturiser on top of that if needed. You can put makeup on top of that. You put a sealer on that top of that if needed. And finally, if somebody wants something that is more of a boost of a little bit of moisturiser, this is probably going out of early teen years, sort of 10, 11, 12, 13 now, and into an adult, then the moisturiser to choose is the ordinary natural moisturising factor because it's completely oil-free. I am not of the opinion that oil dissolves oil oil should be used on oily skin i'm not i come from a dermatologist point of view in the sense of i've spoken to lots of clinical dermatologists they say no oil at all you can hydrate your skin you can gently cleanse it and you can hydrate it using what's found naturally in the skin and oils are not found naturally in the skin so you've got things like um, glycerin amino acids hyaluronic acid things like that um so there you go that is with the exception probably of that that is everything you need to tackle your child's acne or to keep at the back of your bathroom shelf to tackle your occasional breakouts this is my emergency skin kit i use that every day i use it every morning anyway I use that every day, I use it every morning and every night. Anyway, that is always on my bathroom shelf because it's my go-to for ingrown hairs, spots anywhere on my body, anything like that at all. And that's just my emergency. This is like the modern equivalent. Do you remember TCP? Do you remember when you went to school and the kids went off TCP and you just knew, oh, somebody's got a spot or a boil or something like that. You know exactly what I mean, don't you? A cold sore or something like that. A dodgy earring. Do you remember when you used to go and get your earrings pierced and then you'd have to cover them in TCP? That's your modern equivalent of TCP. Traceless, scentless, smellless. It's just, honestly, everybody should have a bottle of that in their emergency skincare cupboard. I hope that's helped because so many of you ask me what to use and from now on instead of having to type out a list of all those products I just put click and watch because this is your go-to emergency kit for anybody with breakouts but particularly helpful for mums who are just or dads who are just really concerned about their children because it's such a sensitive time when you're going into senior school and Probably your hormones have kicked in and your voice is squeaking and dropping if you're a guy or just about to start your periods. The last thing you need is to suffer from really bad spots. One thing I'd like to say, if you do this routine and things keep getting worse to the point where they start getting red and sore and they start leaving marks on your skin, anybody, parents, children, postmenopausal, pre-puberty, Go and see your GP, please, 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 because once they start to permanently mark your skin, 
you are at a level where you need medical intervention and you need to stop it because trust me, eventually when that acne kicks out again, because it will do, your body will eventually recognize it and kick it out again and it could take 10 or 15 years. You're gonna be left with scars that are so much harder to treat. Please try and prevent them. And that's the same of anybody. I always ask people to slide into my DMs and send me a picture of their skin and the minute I see something that is cystic and I recommend this routine and they come back to me in a couple of months time and they go I'm not sure things have got better they will get a little bit better I always say go to see your GP. There are drugs that are amazing that work. Topical antibiotics, topical uh, tretinols, tretinoin, that's uh, that's the prescription form of Retin-A. There are gels and creams and lotions and even oral Retin-A. That will help, trust me. Please, please, please look after your skin. And I hope this helps. There you go. That's my little sort of message for anybody that's ever asked me about breakouts. Uh, coming on Sunday, I've got the first, I'm editing it at the moment. It's currently sitting at 40 minutes. So I think I might try and edit it into two pieces. I've got your ask anything you ever wanted to ask about lab muffin beauty science. You remember lovely Michelle was over here. She's got a PhD in chemistry. Anyway, it's sitting at 40 minutes. I'll try and get it down to 30 minutes and put it up as one video. But otherwise I might put it up as two videos. Um, and I might put two up at the same time on Sunday night. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. Watch me on Instagram because I am now taking you beauty shopping along High Street. Bye.